Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Allen East High School, where tonight the homestanding Mustangs welcome in the upper side of Alley Rams. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSN crew. Gilly, we take a look at this matchup, and this, these two teams have already played once this year. Allen East defeated Upper Side of Valley on December 29th in a 53-51 overtime, a big-time battle between those schools in the border battle at Waynesfield High School. You look at tonight's matchup, Upper Side of Valley comes in losing three of their last four, but before that, they won eight in a row. Allen East comes in 11-3 and three in their last 14 games. Yeah, you know, and Allen East is coming in a little shorthanded tonight. But you can look at it two ways. you got to look at the, the health of the young man, what's in the best interest of him. So they've decided to, to keep him out for tonight. But then that also gives an opportunity for the other kids to get some valuable minutes and some scoring experience to go along with the other two of Clum and Lehman, who's also putting in over 14 points a game. And, and we did talk to the coaching staff from Allen East, and they said they are hoping to get Keaton Miller back for the tournament. So tonight's a precautionary thing. Yeah, it's it's been nothing but ice and heat and obviously physical therapy. You know, the, the father thought it was actually broken. So sure. he's a very lucky young man, uh, you know, to be in this situation. Hopefully he gets an opportunity because this is his last dance to get to play at tournament time. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for tonight. Gilly for Upper Side of Alley under the direction of Dre White. They'll start number two, Alex Sanders. He's a junior guard, 6'2", 16.9 a game. Number four, Jason Helton is a senior guard, 5'10", 2.5 a game. Number 10, Drew Stevens is a senior guard, 6'2", 16.6 a game. Number 23, Maddox Underwood is a sophomore guard, the 5'11", sophomore, 14.2 a game. And number 32, Blaine Castle is a 6'4", senior at 5.8 a game. Upper Side of Valley, 14 and 6, 6-0 six and oh in the Northwest Central Conference for the homestanding Mustangs. They are led by Coach Gabe Young. They'll start number one, Jacob Hershberger, a 5'10 guard, 7.4 a game. Number three, Carson Klum is a 5'8 junior at 12.2 a game. Number four, Keaton Lehman, a 5'10 senior at 15.9 a game. Number 11, Caleb Hopkins is a 6'2 senior at 1.6 a game. And number 21, Brady Shea is a 6'5 senior at 3.4 a game. Gilly Keaton Lehman is the all-time leading three-point shooter in Mustang history. And we talked, we got our keys before the game, and part of that keys for Upper Side Valley was guarding the perimeter. Oh, he can shoot it. He's attempted 143 this year, hitting 43. And uh, his ability to really shoot the basketball, everything he's earned, that accolade of getting the all-time three-point record, he's earned it because he's put the time in in the gym. Well, it's going to be a fun one here from Allen East High School. It's Upper Side of Alley. It's Allen East. We'll have tip-off right after these messages. Welcome back to Allen East High School, everyone. We're tonight. The Mustangs host the Upper Side of Valley Rams. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert. Gilly, take a look at both of these teams. In Upper Side of Valley, we talked to Coach Dre White this week, and he said they got to defend the arc. Obviously, with the layman youngster from Allen East setting the all-time record, he can knock down the jumper. He can knock down three-pointers. He talked about winning the re rebound game, but the third thing he talked about was limiting turnovers. Upper Side of Valley had 16 of them the first time they played Allen East. Yeah, they've got to take care of the basketball. They're sort of reeling, like we said in pregame. You mentioned three out of the last yeah. four. They were playing solid basketball at Christmas time and right after, you know, and it started with that Corey Rawson game. You know, they didn't play very well that night, and, you know, we talked about Corey Rawson. They, they, Al's done a great they, job they there. Really well. yeah, yeah. And they yep. played well, and then they reeled. Uh, what did we say? They beat Ridgemont, and then Pandora, who's really, really good, come back and got him, and, and Kerry got him the other night. Right. Kerry's got two losses. But yeah, they've got to take care of the basketball, and they've got to get production out of their big three tonight. Uh, and if they can do that and get off to a good start, they've got to like their chances. We look at Allen East, Darren, on the other side. Coach Gabe Young, his keys to the game were come out focused. He's really concerned about his kids being focused after they've already beat USV once this year, and they played again last night. He also talked about holding uh, USV to one possession. He knows how good they are on the boards, and he wants to limit that. And he wants to keep his turnovers under 10, but the most important thing he talked about, he's got to get someone to step up for Miller. There's 14 points a game that we don't, or he doesn't have. Well, it's not only the 14 points a game, Danny. It's also his ability to rebound the basketball both ends of the court. So it's going to be a combination 
somebody's got to get it done or two guys got to get it done. And if they can get two guys to get that 14.6 and that rebound average that uh, Miller brings to the table, he's got to like their chance too because they're really, really athletic, especially at the guard spot. Darren, let's talk a little bit about that first game. They defeated Upper Side of Valley 53-51 in overtime. And as we said, Upper Side of Valley turned the ball over a lot. That was a big win for Allen East in the border battle. It was. And one of the demises that day for USV was their inability to shoot the free th from the free throw line. Coming in on the game or on the season, excuse me, tonight, they've attempted 337 free throws and only converted 204 for 60.5%. So that's that's yeah. been a demise for the Rams this year. You know, and Allen East, you know, unfortunately has not shot it much better. 163 out of 265 for 61 and a half percent. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is the Kenton Moose. The Kenton Moose is Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose 428 in Kenton online at KentonMoose428.com. So upper side of Valley will control the tip. This is Maddox Underwood. He is guarded out top by Clump. From Allen East, they'll swing it over to Sanders. Sanders on top, guarded by Hershberger. He'll get a screen from Blaine Cla Castle. They'll bring it back out. Underwood from the top of the key for three, and he's got it. Maddox Underwood knocks down three on the Kenton Moose scoreboard, and he gives Upper Side of Valley the 3-0 lead. I'll tell you, that's a great set right there. Great execution from the ball screen to the ball reversal and the dribble drive there by uh, Sanders to get it out to Underwood at the top of the key this for is, that wide open three. This is Klum out top, guarded by Underwood. He'll swing it back inside. They'll go back out to Klum. They've got Caleb Hopkins and Brady Shea swinging back and forth in the middle of the key. They'll swing it back around. This is Jacob Hershberger. We talked about him all fall long. There's a three from the top of the key, and it's good. Caleb Hopkins, the 6'2 senior, knocks in the triple, and he makes it 3-3 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Yeah, big shot coming in. He was only at 8%, 1 of 13 on threes coming in. That's a big shot. You can see Upper's going to give him the opportunity to shoot it. Nice drive by Alex Sanders, and you see how strong he is, Darren. When he turns that corner, he is a bull in the middle. Well, if he gets to that left shoulder with that hard pound dribble, He's going to have a very high success rate around the rim. 5-3 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Upper side of the valley leads early. 52% he was shooting coming in on twos. Hopkins swings it around to Klum. Klum looks for Hershberger. Hershberger guarded out top by Drew Stevens. Hershberger with the dribble drive, and they're going to get him on the travel. It looked like Jacob Hershberger just lost his feet there. Uh, Drew Stevens kind of backed off of him and just let him go. Well, I think what USD is trying to do, they're trying to play a real aggressive man-to-man -man on Allen East's best players and then turn around inside and play some soft man-to-man -to, -man to protect that dribble drive action that Darren, Allen you, East you, likes to run. You look at the, the, on both teams, there's a bunch of scorers out here. We've got six kids averaging in double figures. There's a nice screen up top, and Drew Stevens knocks in the triple to make it 8-3 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. They are on fire right now from the arc. Well, they're executing. When you execute, good things happen. They can feed their defense off of it. This is Keaton Lehman with the dribble drive, takes it up and knocks it in. Keaton Lehman, the all-time leading three-point shooter in Allen East history. And you see him take it to the rim, and he scores the bucket, and he makes it 8-5 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. There's another three from outside. Jason Helton knocks in the triple, and it's raining threes in McGuffey. Well, that's where he shoots the ball exceptionally well. He likes that left side of the floor from the free throw line down to the corner. Carson Klum with a little dribble drive. He'll kick it back out. This is Hopkins. Gets it inside to Shea. Shea looks back out. Hopkins from the arc. And he knocks it down. Caleb Hopkins, the 6'2 lefty sharpshooter, knocks in the triple. And he makes it 11-8 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. My goodness, Darren. We're going to have a hard time keeping up with this one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's two big shots by that young man. Like I said, coming in, one of 13 on three. Jason Helton, back-to-back buckets for the Rams. He's got five on the night. He makes it 13-8 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. So there's some scoring from Jason Helton, who doesn't score a lot, but he's getting effective points early in the game. This is Carson Klum up top. He'll swing it over to Lehman. Lehman dribble drive on the right side, throws the ball up. Rebound comes down. Drew Stevens, he'll go down the middle of the floor, loses the ball, corrals it again. He'll swing it back over Maddox Underwood, guarded by Klum. Castle screens on top. They'll go back to Alexander's, back to Blaine Castle, and a nice give and go. Blaine Castle knocks in the two-footer, and he makes it 15-8 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Impressive, very unselfish play there by Sanders. 
Their offensive sets right now are oh, really they're impressive. They're perfection. really impressive. Okay. Yes, they are. This is Hershberger. Goes to the right side. Tries to go up against Castle. Ball gets thwarted around. Be rebound comes down to Sanders. Sanders will bring it down the middle. Goes straight up. And they're going to say that Sanders a charge on the play. Yeah, he so, felt like he got pushed in the back on the dribble drive. But you know what? It appeared to be a little bit out of control. That's the one he's got to pull up on a dime and shoot that jump shot from about 10 or 12 feet. But it shows you the athletics, oh, athleticism absolutely. of Alex Sanders who can go from the front to the back in, in a heartbeat. Yeah, and not afraid. No, absolutely not. This is Hershberger guarded by Drew Stevens. He'll swing it over to Hopkins. Hopkins has already knocked down two triples. They'll get it to Clump. This is Keaton Lehman. Three ball on the way, and he knocks it in. Keaton Lehman, you knew that was going to happen, Darren. He's too good of a shooter. Yeah. Keaton Lehman for the triple. Yep, that's number 44 on the season. 15-11 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. There's a near steal by Lehman on Stevens. They'll go back inside the Blaine Castle. Little turnaround. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Sanders. Sanders tried to go back up, and they're going to say a jump ball. So our officials tonight, Chris Ewald, Steve Orn, and John Terryberry, the birthday boy. John's got a birthday today, so we were kidding him a little bit before the game. Good sport. I like all three of those officials. They do a good job, and they do a good service for the community. You know, Alex did a really good job going to the glass right there, getting that offensive rebound. Big no-no was he brought it down below his waist. Layman almost loses it. Jason Helton, or excuse me, yeah, Jason Helton almost gets the ball corralled. He got his hands up in there, which yeah, you need to do. Away. Yeah. This is Carson Klum, guarded by Sanders. Klum with a little fadeaway. Ball goes off the iron. Klum gets his rebound, takes it back up. Off the iron, rebound comes down. It'll be Maddox Underwood with the rebound. So Carson Klum with three chances to score there, and he misses all of them. Ball comes down. There's a three ball on the way from Sanders, top of the key, and it's good. Alex Sanders and the Rams are on fire. 2.49 to go. Rams lead 18-11 on the Moose scoreboard. Yeah, that's a big turnaround, a missed layup for Allen East, and the three coming down, a five-point swing. Mason Thompson, number 22, 6'2", sophomore, getting ready to check in for the Rams. There's Lehman again from the right side, and it's good. Man, he's got a stroke, Darren. That young man can knock threes down, and he makes it 18-14 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Yeah, so you watch everything's that, falling. When you watch that release, it's a, it's a very pure follow-through. Here's Sanders, gets a screen by Castle up top. They'll go back to Maddox Underwood. Maddox Underwood, dribble drive, foul line. Shot goes up, and it's blocked by Hershberger. Hopkins will corral the rebound. They'll get it out to Lehman. Lehman on the left side. Here comes Lehman against Hilton. Back to Carson Klum. He's guarded by Alex Sanders on the left side. 2.03 to go. Rams lead 18-14. There's a jumper by Lehman from the key. Misses Allen, gets his own rebound. He'll go up the right side, try to go baseline. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll go back to upside of Allen. Yeah, Upper's got to do a better job on the, on the defensive glass for giving up too many possessions right now. And they've... They've got, to, they've got to clean that up a little bit. They've got a first seven of the game. Appears to be Thompson's in for Castle. Checking in the game for Allen East, number five, Trey Hensley, 5'11", junior. He'll, come, he'll take the place of Brady Shea, 6'5", sophomore. So they lose a little height when Shea goes to the bench, but a little quickness. They've got a lot of guards out there right now. Probably a little more athleticism. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So here's Underwood. He'll get it over to Mason Thompson. Thompson back to Sanders. Samson, Sanders guarded out by Hershberger. There's Drew Stevens dribble driving to the foul line. Shot goes up, and it's good. Drew Stevens, the senior sharpshooter, knocks it in. He's got five on the night, and the Rams lead 20-14 on the Kenton Moose score. Really did a nice job looking for his man on that defender, and he was chasing him off the screen. Great curl cut. Hershberger was going to take the three. Carson Klum backs into him. They'll go back to Lehman. Lehman lets it fly, and he knocks it in. Keaton Lehman, you see Tough that shot. Stroke. Yeah, because Stevens is right there with a hand up. That's just a, that's a great shot. Lehman's got 10 on the night. He leads all scorers right now. 2016 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Danny Hobrick, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. Darren, this game's got the feeling of who's got the ball last. You <laughs> yeah, know? this is an 80-point game. <laughs> that's huh? right. There's Drew Stevens, a little spin around. Maddox Underwood from the left side. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. It's going to go out of bounds, and they're going to say it goes back to Allen East. Yeah, Maddox probably a little bit too quick on that one. Mr. Underwood got to get his feet underneath him. Well, balance. you saw him come off that screen, Darren, and you got to separate from your man, and it looked like he just stayed a little too close to him. Well, not only that, he's also fading away to the side. you got to lean to the rim a little bit and get your momentum carrying you to the bucket. Ethan Young enters the game now for Allen East, and, or excuse me, and Keaton Lehman will take a seat. He'll get a breather here before the second quarter starts. Klum swings it around. This is Ethan Young. Young back to Klum. Klum guarded by Sanders. Klum with a little jumper. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Maddox Underwood. He'll bring it down. 
Good job there by Underwood going to the glass hard and aggressively getting that rebound. This is Maddox Underwood. He's guarded by Carson Klum. We're down to 20 seconds. Rams lead 20-16. And they're going to say there's a foul out top. And they're going to say on Jacob Hirschberger, that is his first. A good job there by Stevens of Upper Soda Valley holding his ground there. That's the one where Hirschberger's got to go around the screen and not throw it in the official. They're going to set Hirschberger down and bring Keaton Lehman back in. Viewed him as going through the screen. So Underwood will trigger the ball into Stevens. Stevens will bring it back to Helton. Helton back to Stevens. Stevens dribble drive on the left side, goes up, and he misses the shot off the mark. Rebound comes down to Klum. Klum's got eight seconds. He'll go up, brings it into Lehman. Lehman takes it up, and he scores. Keaton Lehman's got 12, and it's 2018 on the Kenton Moose score. Half court shot by Underwood off the mark. And after one quarter, the upper side of the Valley Rams lead the Allen East Mustangs. 2018, you're watching high school's basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Allen East High School, where after one quarter, the upside of Allen Rams lead 20 to 18. And Darren, I'm looking at the stats here, and they've got Keaton Lehman at 30% from threes. I haven't seen him miss yet. <laughs> well, how about, how about Caleb Hopkins? Right. What's his? <laughs> well, let's see. One Caleb. of 13, and yeah. he's hit two out of two. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are head scratchers if you're an assistant sure. coach. Well, you scout They him, make yeah. you look right. bad. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? But, get, you know, give that kid credit. He's banged in two of them from that right wing. And, and as hot as Allen East is, upper side of Allen, he's just as hot. Their guards are knocking down everything. But, the, but they're running a really good offense right now. They're getting good screens, and they're coming off those screens and knocking down shots. Oh, absolutely. You know, if one thing if I would say about upper, they probably shot the ball a little bit too quick right there. Alex Sanders with a nice dribble drive as he had <clears throat> Trey Hensley backed up all the way down. And that's a great job of Alex Sanders of getting low down into the post. Well, he wanted to go to the up and under, but you got to keep that basketball under your chin because you bring it down, it's fair game. They're going to slap it away. Go back into Mason Thompson. Mason Thompson knocks in the deuce. Mason Thompson, 6'2 sophomore. He's got two on the night. It makes it 22-18 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. And you know what? When he plays within himself, he's capable of doing some good things for he's them. Good. Yeah, he's real good. He's real you good. Know, it's a confidence level thing. He's just got to let it go and get out there and play. Well, he accepts his role when he does a really good job. He really does. This is Klum guarded by Sanders. A little turnaround, and it's good. Carson Klum, the do-it-all guard, knocks in the little jumper, and he makes it 22-20. Klum's got two on the night. Yeah, and Stevens is like, what do I got to do? I got a <laughs> hand up on him. I mean, that's great defense. Well, everybody's hitting everything right now. There's a dribble drive by Sanders. Takes it into, let's see, go Maddox Underwood, tries to go baseline. Ball gets shot or blocked, and they're going to say it's a foul, and they're calling the foul on number 11, Caleb Hopkins. 6'2 senior. That's a really great back cut right there. You know, Maddox, and he's going to mature and get older and get, continue to get stronger. If he gets his shoulder square to the backboard, parallel and takes it up, he's got a chance for the old-fashioned and one. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe and Chicken chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe. Home style happens here. So Maddox Underwood hits the first one, makes it 23-20 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Second one on the way, and he knocks it in. Underwood's got five on the night. So four, four Rams with five or more points right now. So they're lighting the scoreboard up. This is Lehman with the ball, guarded by Helton. He'll bring it up top. They'll swing it back to Klum. Klum brings it back to Ethan Young. Three ball on the way, off the mark. Rebound nice comes down to Helton. Out. Really nice job by Helton, the boxer. Sure there. was, one and done. Here comes Maddox Underwood down the middle. Tries to dribble dive, gets it over to Mason Thompson. Thompson lets it fly and he knocks it in. Mason Thompson, back to back, buckets for the Rams. Nice pass by, I think that was Underwood. Nice finish there by Thompson, that's two big buckets right now for that young man. And you talked about it, confidence is everything, and Mason Thompson right now is not backing down or shying away. Here come the Mustangs. There's a jumper from Lehman, and he knocks it in. Keaton Lehman is automatic. And I get it why Upper's frustrated. It's not like they're running out with their hands right. down. They're just making big-time shots. This is Alex Sanders. He'll swing it back. Underwood from the top of the key. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Looks like Mason Thompson tried to go up and over, and I think they're going to get him for the foul. I think yeah. they got him with the push. They did. Mason oh, Thompson. actually a hold. 
again, as he gets older, he's going to learn not to go through people. He's got to go around. You beat him to the spot when the ball's in the air. Here comes Carson Klum. He's guarded by Maddox. Underwood up top. They'll spread it out a little bit. They'll get the ball over to Trey Hensley. He's got Brady Shea on his left. Klum with a little jumper from inside the arc, and he knocks it down. Carson Klum, the do-it-all guard. Four points for Klum, and it's 26-24 in the Ken Moose scoreboard. I, I, I'll tell you, Darren, I really like the play of Carson Klum. I think he is a really good ball player. I think they've got a dynamic set of guards. You know, yeah, absolutely. Just... I mean, the guards on the floor tonight for both teams are fantastic. Oh, my goodness, Drew Stevens. I don't know how he got away with that one. A little dipsy dude, Dunkaroo. Very athletic boy. Oh, my goodness. Drew Stevens knocks it in, and it's 28-24 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. There's Lehman again from outside. He misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Underwood. Underwood brings it down the middle. He's got Sanders on the right. He'll take it up himself. Maddox Underwood. Finger roll, baby. Makes it 30-24 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. That was nice. Nice little Euro step, wasn't it? 4.42 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. And everything's falling for both teams tonight. Another triple from Ethan Young. Ethan Young from the right side knocks it in. He narrows the lead to 30-27 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Sanders out top, swings it around. Back to Helton, back over to Mason Thompson. Maddox Underwood from the top of the key. Maddox Underwood just inside the three line. Ball goes off the mark, rebound comes down to Keaton Lehman. Lehman comes down, he finds Young with the ball on the left side. Over to Carson Klum. Carson Klum from the top of the key. Off the mark, rebound comes down, Drew Stevens. Four minutes to go here in the first half. Rams lead 30-27 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Yeah, I think that's one Coach Young would like to have back. That's probably a little bit too quick. I think the emotions got the best of his team right there on that three-point attempt. This is Drew Stevens out top. He's guarded by Keaton Lehman. Underwood with the ball in the corner. He'll swing it back around, trying to get the ball to Sanders. Dribble drive to the foul line. Shot goes up. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Klum. Klum almost fouled by Mason Thompson as he tried to get the ball. Ball gets away, and there's going to be a timeout. There's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout in the booth. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. There's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for TV44 to broadcast it for you. Say thanks to viewer-supported TV44 by sending them a financial gift right now. TV44 relies on the donation of viewers to enable the airing of this game and all other locally produced games. Donate now by visiting WTLW.com and click the Donate button. Darren, i got a question for you. Since Alan East played last night and Upper hasn't played since Saturday night, does this pace favor the Rams? Well, it certainly doesn't look like it early, does it? <laughs> I know. That's why I'm asking. And neither team I mean, looks no, rented at all. I tell you before the game, yes. Yeah, the right. The way things are going right now, Alan East has plenty in the tank. I had the same situation we thought Saturday night with OG having sure. to play defiance. You know, these kids are resilient, and, man, they're getting after it. Nice take. Lehman with the dribble drive, and the ball gets blocked by Drew Stevens, and they're going to say Stevens got him with the body. So, Drew Stevens, that'll be his, I believe it's his first foul. Boy, did Stevens close on that one quick, he, didn't he? He really did, and you saw the athleticism there of his closing speed. So that'll send Keaton Lehman to the line. First one on the way, and it's good. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wapak and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. So he gets ready. He eyes the second one. And he knocks it in. <laughs> Keaton Lehman has got 16 on the night to lead all scores. Sanders goes back into Castle. Castle, a little turnaround, takes it up strong, and he scores. Blaine Castle with a big boy move right there. Did a great job rim running. Got down to the box, sit, sit down on his man. Sanders found him with a nice yeah, pass. Yeah, got, got his feet underneath him and took it up strong. There's Keaton Lehman with the ball up top. He'll go to the left side, takes it up. And it's blocked, and they're going to say it's a foul. And I believe that foul is going to be on Drew Stevens. And that's two on him, Darren, and it's back-to-back -back possessions. Well, and that's where he's just got to take, take it in. That's two fouls. Not let it affect his play. So Keaton Lehman will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. He's got 16 on the night as he tries to add to that. First one on the way, and he misses that shot. And now you're going to see Drew Stevens take a seat. Jason Helton will come back in for him. 
Jason Helton a nice first quarter as he had a couple big time Sure, baskets. and I think that's part of the decision. He's, you know, he got five points. You know, it's unfortunate Drew's got to go over there, but if he gets his third, right, you know, then yeah, yeah. the momentum switches to the home team. He's he just got to sit there for the last two. 55 and take it in and relax. So Lehman misses both of them, but Jacob Hershberger gets the free throw, tries to take it back up. It looks like the ball goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it was last touch by upper side of Alley. So Hershberger will trigger the ball out underneath their basket. Yeah, that was a missed box out off a free throw situation that allowed Hershberger to get his hands on it. This is number 22, Deacon Jones in the game now for the Mustangs. This is Klum. He'll bring it back to Lehman. Lehman from three land. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. This is Maddox Underwood. He'll bring it down the middle. He'll slow it down. Coach Dre White instructs him what play to call. They'll bring Blaine Castle up top. They'll bring Sanders up top for a screen. Castle will screen. Back to Blaine Castle. Castle with the dribble drive. Almost steps through it. Mason Thompson will bring it back. They'll go to Maddox Underwood. 2.20 to go. Rams lead 32-29. Underwood dribble drives on the left side. Goes up, and he's fouled. And a nice take by Maddox Underwood. And they got Keaton Lehman on the foul. That's his first. Team third. So that'll send Maddox Underwood to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Season 18 of Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. No. Underwood misses the first one. It's 33-29 with 2.14 to go. Second one on the way, and he knocks that down. He makes it 34-29. Underwood's got nine on the night to lead the Rams. So 2.09 to go. This is Carson Klum guarded by Sanders up top. They'll swing it back to Lehman. Lehman dribble drives to the middle of the floor, takes it up. Ball goes off the mark. Big time rebound by Alex Sanders. He'll bring the ball down. Gets it over to Maddox Underwood. Throws it almost out of bounds. Rebound comes, or the ball comes back down to Sanders. And Dre White's going to take a timeout. There's Great a timeout caution. on the floor, absolutely. We'll take a timeout on the booth. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back here at Allen East High School with 152 to go. The Rams lead Allen East 34-29. And uh, a forensic pace right now, Darren. They are just tearing this up well, like it's a track. slowed down a little bit in the second quarter because forensic was that first quarter, what, 2018? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good night. Here comes Underwood. He's guarded by Jones out top. Underwood goes off of a screen, gets it over to Mason Thompson. Thompson will swing it to Sanders. Sanders dribble drive to the foul line. Tried to take it middle, but he gets thwarted. By the Allen East defense. This is Underwood. Goes dribble drive middle. He'll kick it back out. Back over to Helton. Sanders with the ball out top. Sanders dribble drive to the foul line. Helton from the top of the key. Misses off the mark. Rebound comes down to Jacob Hershberger. And the Mustangs will take the ball with 1.17 to go until halftime. Right idea. Just really didn't get his feet set. He popped open there to the top. This is Lehman out top, guarded by Helton. He'll swing it around to Caleb Hopkins. Caleb Hopkins, a big first quarter. This is Deacon Jones with the ball out top. He'll swing it to the right side. Under a minute to go. Carson Klum, guarded by Sanders. And Allen East is going to pull the ball out, and take a little time off the clock, and spread the offense out. Rams lead 34-29. This is Jacob Hershberger. He'll go against Castle. He'll try to drive it in. Takes the shot up. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes Good down to Castle. Like Castle right there. Just a great wall up, yep. making Hershberger go into him and up and over. And that's virtually impossible with the size of that young man once you get those arms extended. Rams with the ball. 24 seconds to go. This is Helton. Bring it back to Underwood. Coach White's telling them they're going to hold for one shot. Down to 17. This is Sanders guarded by Lehman up top. Down to 13. Sanders gets a screen from Castle. They'll go back to Underwood. Underwood guarded by Jones. We're down to eight seconds. Back to Sanders. Sanders guarded by Lyman. Screen from Castle. Sanders tries to dribble drive. Loses the ball. Takes it back up. Shot goes up. And it's good. Alex Sanders knocks in the jumper as the buzzer goes off. Rams lead 36-29. When we come back, we'll have second half action right here on WOSN.
Welcome back to Allen East High School, where we're just about ready to get set for the second half. The Upper Side of Valley Rams lead 36-29. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. Gilly, let's take a look at the scoring at the half for Upper Side of Valley. Helton's got five. Maddox Underwood's got nine to lead the Rams. Alex Sanders was seven. Drew Stevens was seven. But they're getting big points from Mason Thompson. He's got four in Blaine Castle. So the kids in the middle of, of the lane are getting buckets. Well, what'd you say, Helton, five? Yeah. Thompson, how many? Four. So that's nine. Castle. That, four, yeah. That's point production that they have not gotten right. this year. Sure. And you take a look at Allen East, everything's Keaton Lehman. Right now, he leads everybody in scoring with 16. Clum's got four. Hopkins has six. Those are big points by Hopkins. And then Young's got three. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you can definitely tell, not taking anything away from Upper, but you can definitely tell not having Miller into the paint area. It's you a know, big difference. It's Absolutely. a big difference. Yeah. But Allen East has given a gutsy effort. The one that surprised me right now that's not, you know, scored – and he's averaging 7.8 points a game, and that's Hirschberger. Yeah, absolutely. And he is really, really athletic. We know what he can do on the football field. So here come the Allen East Mustangs as he'll start the second half with the ball. This is Klum guarded by Sanders. Ball gets kicked out of bounds. They go back to Allen East. So, yeah, Jacob Hirschberger, we talked about him all fall long. He was the player of the year in the Northwest Conference of football, and he's an athletic specimen, so well, they need to get him on track. Right yeah. there. They wanted to get him isolated on the box on Drew Stevens. And there he is with the ball and goes straight up, and he scores just on cue. As we talk about Jacob Hershberger, he puts in the deuce. He makes it 36-31 on the Moose scoreboard. Gosh, it makes us look smart, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. <laughs> this is Alex Sanders with the ball. Goes up the left side, takes it up, and a big boy move right there. Alex Sanders. Knocks in the deuce, makes it 38-31. He's a load it's, down Well, low. it's almost like you can use the word, you know, forget it, because when he gets it down there. He's so strong. Oh, yeah. He's just so dangerous. Klum with a little jumper from the left side, and it's good. Carson Klum knocks in the deuce. I like that young man from the perimeter. He's good. He's got six on the night, and it's 38-33 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Kenton Moose, Hardin County's home for great food, fellowship, and friends. That's the Kenton Moose, 428 in Kenton, online at kentonmoose428.com. And there you see a block by number 21, Brady Shea on Blaine Castle. And that's what they weren't getting in the first half, but you see Shea come out with a renewed spirit here in the second half. Gets a screen on Sanders. Klum brings it back to Lehman. Lehman against Helton. There goes dribble drive by Lehman. Takes it up. Rebound comes down to the Rams. And this is Helton. Gets it back to Drew Stevens. Stevens up the right side, guarded by Lehman. They'll bring it up and they'll set up the offense. Maddox Underwood, sophomore with the ball. Good job communicating by the five on the floor, but the red and black here as the coach called the set. This is Helton, tries to swing it down low. This is Underwood from the top of the key. He'll dribble drive and foul on the left side. Ball goes off the back iron. Ball comes back down. Sanders gets it out to Maddox Underwood, and he knocks in the triple. Maddox Underwood hits the triple, and he's got 12 on the You night. know, and I listened to Clark Kellogg the other day. When does the most three-point shooters become open? Offense, off offensive rebounds. rebounds. Talks about that exactly a lot. what happened right there. Yep. Rams lead 41-33. There's a three ball from the left side. And Caleb Hopkins, the 6'2 lefty, knocks in the triple. Hopkins has got nine for the Mustangs, and it's 41-36. So Number both teams come back out yeah. for, for the young man. <laughs> Big points for that. I mean, and, and look, Coach Young talked about getting scoring from somewhere else, and that's exactly what he's getting. Here comes Underwood as he'll go dribble drive, tries to get it into Blaine Castle. Ball stolen away by Carson Klum. Carson Klum goes down the middle of the floor. Get it back up to Lehman. Lehman from three ball land off the Mac iron. Lehman gets his own rebound, takes it back up, and it's blocked. Blaine Castle comes up with the rebound. Big time rebound by Young, or excuse me, by Lehman, but he falls short on the shot. This is Drew Stevens. He's got two fouls. He'll go to the middle, goes up on the left side, and it's good. Nice left-handed move by Drew Stevens. The senior knocks in the deuce, makes it 43-36. Stevens has nine on the night. Sliced and diced his way right to the rim and also finished with that left hand. There's Carson Klum. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Hershberger, and they're going to say a foul is going to go against. looks like it's going to go against Caleb Hopkins. That's his second. He's got nine points. Got him with the hold right there on the rebound. So upper side of the alley will get the ball back with 4.51 to go here in the third quarter. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. 
on Valentine's night, Darren. I didn't even ask you to be my Valentine. Here's Sanders from the top of the key, and he knocks it down. Alex Sanders knocks in the triple, and the Mustangs need a timeout. With 4.39 to go, the Rams have up that lead to 46-36. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSA. We're back here at Allen East High School to 439 to go. The Rams lead the Mustangs 46-36. Darren, we talked about it at the top of the program. We said the upper side of Valley has lost three of the last four, but I'm here to tell you, Dre White has done a great job of getting these guys ready for tonight. And that, I mean that's a really good coaching job. Well, when you sit and watch film with the kids and you break things down, and he has some very high IQ basketball kids on this team. Um you know, good things are going to happen. Sure. You know, one thing a coach likes to use is the word details. You know, details can be as little as, you know, make a kid use his weak hand, you know, chase him off the three-point line. You know, tonight, details are playing huge dividends for USV right now. Yeah, absolutely. So Upper Side Valley will come out of the timeout. Keaton Lehman will trigger the ball into Carson Klum. USV was a little late coming out of the timeout there. Yeah, they were fortunate the ball didn't get put down That's on the floor. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. So Clum's out top, guarded by Sanders. He'll get it over to Lehman. Lehman will swing it back to Hopkins. Get it inside to Brady Shea. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Sanders. Upper side of that leads 46-36 with 421 to go. Stevens on the right side. Gets it into Maddox Underwood. They'll go back to Helton. Helton dribble drive. Ball gets knocked away. Blaine Castle goes off of him. And they're going to say the ball goes back to Allen East. Yeah, the ball was tipped from behind by Hershberger. Helton was dribbling it. And when he batted the ball, it went off of Blaine Castle out of bounds. Turnover Rams. 4.06 to go. Rams lead 46-36 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. There's a little turnaround from the right side. Ball goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Blaine Castle. He'll get it back to Alex Sanders. Sanders on the right side. Maddox Wonderwood from three land. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. This is Hopkins for Allen East. And they're going to say Hopkins stepped out of bounds, maybe? They're going to, yeah, they're going to say Hopkins stepped out of bounds. It'll go back to the upper side of the alley. Maddox Underwood will trigger the ball out underneath their basket. Swing it over to Drew Stevens. They'll go back into Blaine Castle. He'll go to his left. Takes it back up. Gets it oh, to Helton. Pass. Oh, my goodness. Blaine Castle finds Helton on the right side of the lane. And Helton knocks it in. He's got seven on the night, and the Rams lead 48-36. You know, this time last year, he couldn't make that play. You know, he, he was very unselfish. He went to, you know, they double teamed him, and he kicked it off. This is Clum with the ball on the left side, guarded by Sanders. He'll back it out. Rams lead 48-36 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Hershberger dribble drive, turns to his left, takes it up. Ball goes off the mark, <laughs> gets his own rebound, and Hershberger. The upper side of Alley had the rebound. The ball got knocked around, and and Hershberger was on the baseline, gets the ball, goes back up, gets fouled, and he's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, that's, that's a frustration foul right there by Stevens. Unfortunately, that's number three. Yes, you're right. Drew Stevens with the third foul. You Mason. know, looking back, you almost have to just let him score. Absolutely. Mason Thompson will enter the game. Mason's got four on the night, had a really good first half for upper side of Alley, so no problems bringing him in and letting Stevens get a rest. Right. So Hershberger with the second one, and he knocks it in. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wapak and Delphus called Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. What you don't want to do if you're USV is get into a run-and-gun game with these guys right now. You've built a comfortable 11-point lead. You know, milk some time in your half-court game. Underwood with a dribble drive. He'll kick it back out. Helton from the left side for three. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. And they're going to say that Lehman knocked it out of bounds. Blaine Castle tried to go up, and Lehman goes over him and knocks it out of bounds. No foul called. Ball goes back to the upper side of Valley. Yeah, that's the one where the big fella's got to get his hands on it and just secure it. There's Castle, who cut to the middle, loses the ball, comes back down to Mason Thompson. He'll go back out to Sanders. Sanders gets a screen from Castle. This is Sanders goes to the right side. And they're going to say a block on Jacob Hirschberger as Sanders went into him. They got Hirschberger on the foul. Yeah, it was a heck of an effort, but you can see that the contact. That's two fouls on Jacob Hirschberger. How do I want to say it? The contact sure. was uh, incidental. Yeah. Sanders with the ball up top. He'll dribble drive the foul line. Loses the ball. Ball comes down to Carson Klum. 
Rams lead 48-37 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Clums guarded by Sanders out top. You can't throw the ball through the through people's arms defensively. You got to use the make a pass, make a fake pass, make a pass. Hershberger lets one fly from the left side. He goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Mason or Maddox Underwood. He'll go down the right side. He gets a screen from Blaine Castle out top. Castle goes back down towards the post, catches the ball, gets it back out to Thompson. Thompson from the free throw line and knocks it in. Mason Thompson is three for three tonight. He's got six on the night. Unselfish play there by Mr. Castle. Kicking it out off the double team. Like you said, Thompson to hit the 12-footer. With 2.06 to go, there's a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. Upper side of Valley, 50, Allen East, 37. We're back here at Allen East High School with 2.06 to go. The Upper Side of Valley Rams lead the Allen East Mustangs 50-37. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. And Gilly, we talk about the Rams a lot, and we talk about the big three of Drew Stevens, Maddox Underwood, and Alex Sanders. But right now, Mason Thompson has six points, and he's three for three from the floor. And this is what they've been looking for all year long. It's coming at the right time. Absolutely. This is Lehman with the ball up top. He'll swing it back to Hopkins. Hopkins dribble drives back to Klum. Klum goes to the right side. A little turnaround from the left. And he off the mark. Rebound comes down to Maddox Underwood. And right now, everything going upper side of Alley's way. Good job there by, you know, Sanders cutting him off in the lane, beating him to the spot. They'll go back to Helton on the right side. Deacon Jones about to check in. They'll go back into Castle. Castle loses the ball. Klum with the ball, and it's taken away by the Rams. And taken back away by the Mustangs. They get it inside to Lehman. Lehman lays it in. So a nice job by Keaton Lehman of recognizing where the ball was. Goes to the rim and scores the deuce. Here comes Maddox Underwood. Rams lead 50-39. 1.14 to go here in the third quarter. Underwood guarded by Hopkins out top. He gets a screen from Castle. Over to Mason Thompson. Thompson goes over to Sanders. Thompson will screen on the right side for Sanders. They'll go back to Underwood. Underwood thought about taking the three. He'll dribble drive to the free. Back into Castle. Castle cuts in and scores. Blaine Castle, the 6'5 senior, knocks in the jumper. It makes it 52-39 on the Kitten Moose scoreboard. The old-fashioned pick and roll. And Castle is having a night. He's got six on the night. There's Jacob Hershberger tries to drive against Blaine Castle. Entering the game now for Allen East is number five, Trey Hensley, and number 22, Deacon Jones. Carson Klum will take his seat, as will Jacob Hershberger. Man, Hershberger's such a competitor. Not real tall, jumps out of the gym, but boy, athletic. Here's Jones with the ball. He goes dribble drive to the middle. Goes, tries to go up the left side. Sanders with the rebound. Sanders will bring it down the right side. He'll get it back to Underwood. Underwood loses Trey Hensley with the ball. He'll go up the right side. Tries it, he takes it in. Trey Hensley with the jumper, knocks it in. It makes it 52-41 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Really athletic play there by that young man. He got up real high on that one. Got to steal and took, the, took it to the length and finished. So Jones guarding Underwood out top. Underwood dribble drive, takes it in. Off the mark, rebound comes down to Lehman. Lehman with the ball at eight seconds. We're down to six seconds. Jones, they'll go back to Hopkins. Hopkins from the left side, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Underwood, and that's how the third quarter went. After three quarters from Allen East High School, the upper side of Valley Rams lead the Allen East Mustangs 52-41. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back here at Allen East High School for the start of the fourth quarter. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert, upper side of Allen East, 52-41. Gilly, we talked pregame. We talked about the keys for upper side of Allen. Defending the arc, finding Lehman. Now, Lehman's had a nice night, don't get me wrong, but they've limited the other shots going up. And you look at winning the rebound game. Upper side of Allen right now is dominating the boards offensively and defensively and limiting turnovers. They're keeping the ball safe. Everything's clean right now for USV. Well, and you look at, you know, you look at the rebounding. They're averaging 28.4 rebounds a game. Sanders at 6.8. Helton at 3.9, which was a surprise to me. Stevens at just under five. Underwood at a guard spot, point guard, mind you, 5.2. And the big fella, Castle, at 4.1. Those are per some pretty nice numbers to throw at people. Let me give you another example. On the offensive glass on the year, Alex Sanders, 49. 
Jason Helton, 43. Yeah. Uh, 43, Blaine Castle. Underwood, 24. Mason Thompson off the bench, 29. Drew Stevens, 31. 226 offensive rebounds the Rams have had this year. I looked over at the bench, Gilly, and it looks like you were right. Caleb Hopkins had a towel on his nose. He was bleeding pretty bad. There, He's being attended to by the trainer. They just cleaned up some blood on the surface out there, so I uh, hope that young man gets back in the game because he's a nice player for the Allen East Mustangs. Yeah, he missed his first three right there at the end of the quarter right there after hitting, what, three in the first half? This is Underwood guarded by Jones. Underwood goes to the left side. Nice split the middle. Oh, my goodness. Maddox Underwood just split two defenders, and he scores to make it 54-41. Underwood's got 14 to lead the Rams. Three ball on the way for the right side. Off the mark. Drew Stevens corrals the ball. He'll bring it down the middle. Rams lead 54-41. You think Underwood's got a bright future as a sophomore? <laughs> He's pretty talented. My goodness. Sanders with the ball up top. He'll bring it back to Underwood. Underwood guarded by Jones on the left side. I mean, it couldn't be in his jeans either, right? <laughs> That's right. Dad and mom both, you know, ultra competitive. The foul will be on Jacob Hirschberger. That's his third. Team third, so Jacob Hirschberger with three fouls. He's got three points on the night. Sanders with the ball out top. They'll swing it around to Mason Thompson. Drew Stevens gets a screen, brings it up top. Off the mark. Rebound comes down. Young corrals it, gets it over to Jones. Jones will go on the right side. Back over to Trey Hensley. They'll go back to Young. This is Keaton Lehman with the ball. Steps back three, and he's got it. Keaton Lehman. Lehman's got 18, 21 on the night, excuse me, and it's 54-44. Mustangs within 10. Man, what a quick release. No, he got credit for that three, but he also changed that three-point attempt that uh, the last possession that Steven shot for upper. And there you saw Mason Underwood gets a good screen on the ball, and he fades to the basket. The pass goes over his head, and they're going to say it was last touch by Allen East. So Maddox Underwood will trigger out underneath the upper side of Valley basket, swinging around to Helton. They'll go back to Stevens. Stevens dribble drive to the foul line, a little turnaround to the right. Back to Mason Thompson. Thompson will swing it to Sanders. Rams lead 54-44, 6.20 to go. Alex Sanders goes to the left side. He's guarded by Hershberger. Nice job by Hershberger, beating to the spot, taking away that dribble drive. This is Underwood with the ball up top. Swing it to Sanders. Rams lead by 10 in no hurry to score here. This is Stevens with the ball up top, guarded by Young. Stevens dribble drive, gets it into Sanders. Sanders on a low post. Shot goes off the side of the board. Rebound comes down to Carson Plum. Plum goes up the right side, guarded by Helton. Takes it inside. He'll kick it out. Deacon Jones from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Lehman. Lehman thought about taking it back up. He'll go baseline, reverse layup. Misses the shot, but he's fouled by... I think, was, I, I think it was Underwood. I believe it was Underwood, yeah. So you saw Lehman there as he tries to go baseline, goes up the reverse side. He'll go to the free throw line. Our free throw sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in the line on Wapak and Duffus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. So here's Lehman. He's got 21 on the night to lead all scores. He's trying to get this under double digits. First one on the way, and it goes off the arc. He's coming in at 68% from the charity strike. So he'll try to knock it down to a nine-point lead with 5.39 to go. And he misses the second one. Rebound comes down to Underwood. Underwood gets it to Stevens. They'll go back to Underwood. Yeah, that's unusual for him to miss both of those charity strikes. And Jones gets a foul across this other half of the floor. That won't make Coach Young very happy on that play. But he is trying to be aggressive. And, He's uh, trying to yeah, be yeah, because they've got. They got to get, yeah. Yeah, the clock's going to start working against them when it gets to the four-minute mark. So this is Maddox Underwood. He'll bring it around to Stevens. Stevens gets it to Sanders. He'll go to Mason Thompson up top, over to Helton. Helton gets it inside to Sanders. Sanders goes up, and he scores, and that was a nice play. He got a back screen on the left side, and he just gets an easy bucket. Well, Helton made a nice pass, but a better catch and a better finish. Makes it 56-44 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Go, 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 
Sanders has got 14 on the night. Rebound comes down to Hershberger. Maddox Underwood gets it out to Alex Sanders. Alex Sanders goes up on the right side, and he knocks it in. Alex Sanders, he's got 16 on the night to lead all the Rams in scoring, and it's 58-44 on the Ken Moose scoreboard. you got to love the little kick-out pass. He threw it ahead, let him run underneath it, finish it with one dribble. Nice fundamental basketball there. This is Young. Steel. Goes baseline, knocks it in. Pretty move, huh? We got a timeout on the floor with 4.28 to go. We'll take a timeout here. Rams lead 58-46. Welcome back to Allen East High School with 429 to go. The upper side of Alley Rams lead 58-46. And Gilly, we talked about the Rams in our last break about their keys to the game. Let's take a look at Allen East. Come out focused. For the most part, they've came out focused. They've played hard. Holding USV to one possession has been a big task right now because USV is dominating the boards and to keep the turnovers under 10. And somebody has to step up for Miller. Well, Layman's got 21 but they haven't got that second score that they needed. Well, and I'm also seeing the fatigue set in a little bit on the home, sure. home team. Stang said it exerted so much energy in that first quarter after spotting up or that big lead. Yes, absolutely. So the ball will go back to upper side of alley, and Maddox Underwood will trigger the ball in from the side. You know, upper, I think, right now is, you know, content intent to go with uh, a smaller lineup to match Allen East's smaller lineup. Plus, this gives Blaine an opportunity to catch his breath, and if he needs to use him, he'll be fresh his final four minutes. That call was on Carson Klump. That's his first. They'll get to Sanders. Sanders skip pass to Stevens. Stevens goes baseline on the left side. Kicks it back out Sanders. Sanders will go middle to the foul line. Kicks it to the left side. This is Maddox Underwood on the left side. He'll dribble drive. They'll go back to Sanders, 3.58 to go. Rams lead 58-46. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Allen East High School. There we got another foul out top. That foul is going to go against Jacob Hirschberger. That's his fourth. You Will know, they... I saw the game, Danny, over Christmas. Yes. And obviously that plays a huge part. Kids' minds are not only on basketball, they're, you know, they're on you know, Christmas break, no school. The routines all changed up. It was a great high school game, but the mistakes that Upper made that day, I don't see them making them. Yeah, they played a evening. really crisp, cool game tonight. You're absolutely right. Mason Thompson will get the ball up top. He's guarded by Young. He'll get it over to Helton. Helton will swing it back to Underwood. Down to 345 to go. Rams lead 58-46. Somebody's going to get a layup if you're just patient. Sanders will dribble drive. He'll kick it back out. Helton will... Looked like he was going to take the three, but he'll kick it back out. They'll go back inside to Sanders. Sanders with a little turnaround, and he knocks it in. And that's Alex pretty Sanders. patient. patient Finding offense. the big down inside, posted up. And when I say big, I'm talking about a stretch three. And uh, Sanders, who does it exceptionally well. Sanders has got 18 to lead the Rams. Carson Clum from the left side. Ball goes off mark. It's brought down by Mason Thompson. Ball swatted away. They go back to the upper side of the alley. So. I would say if Coach Steven or uh, – Coach White and uh, Coach McCullough, if they have a concern, it's got to be, you know, being a little more physically tougher with the basketball, sure. and not bring it down. Sanders will bring it down. 3:05 to go. Rams lead 60-46 from Allen East High School. Carson. Upper Santa Valley playing a little keep away right now. Down to 2:54 to go in the game. Rams lead 60-46 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Underwood oh, got triangle set here, delay game. Helton cuts back door, misses the shot. He gets his own rebound, takes it back up. And it looks like Dre White's going to call a timeout. So with 2.40 to go, and upper side of Alley leading 60-46, we'll step aside for our final timeout. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. One. We're back here at Allen East High School. We're upside of Valley Leeds with 2.40 to go, 60-46. Darren, let's take a look at the tournament draw for both teams. Yeah, real quick for USV, they drew the three seed. Division four, they're going to be in the Wapak District. They received the first round bye in the sectional semis. They play the winner of Fort Recovery in New Knoxville. 
That game is going to be Friday, February 24th, second game. And it will tip off at approximately 7.30 p.m. And I'm trying to remember where that game is at. I believe that's at Coldwater, Dan. I believe that's at Coldwater. Am I correct? Maybe not. Maybe St. Mary's. I'm, Saint, I'm sorry. It is at St. Mary's. You are correct. Okay, my apologies yep, for no, not I'm writing sorry about it down. That. Nope, St. Mary's. I should have wrote that down. Allen East drew the five seed. They are in the Lima Senior District Division Three. They will square off with Bluffton for the second time, the sixth seed on at February 22nd at 6 p.m. If they win, they will play the winner of Coldwater LCC also on the 24th at the same time, second game at 7.30 p.m. And they're hoping to get a healthy Keaton Miller back yes, for that contest. that's their goal. Yeah, absolutely. So 2.31 to go here. Rams lead 60-46, playing a little keep away. Alex Sanders will dribble drive and take it in. He'll score. Alex Sanders has played an unbelievable second half for the Rams. He's got 20 on the night to lead all scores, or to lead the Rams score, excuse me. Here's Lehman from three ball. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Underwood. Underwood corrals and He's going to be fouled by Deacon Jones. And with 2.12 to go, the Rams have extended the lead, 62-46 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. Yeah, Upper got really, really lucky because I'll tell you what, Keaton Lehman come off that screen wide open. And I, coach, I know Coach White was verbally telling his kids, you've got to show and help. He's just too good of a shooter. Maddox Underwood will go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. First one on the way. It goes in. Underwood's got 15 on the night. Rams lead 63-46 on the Kenton Moose scoreboard. He tries to knock the second one in. Good piece of coaching right there. Coach White talking to both of the, the kids out there that should have been on that, helping recover on that screen. Three ball from the right side. Deacon Jones knocks in the triple with 2.05 to go, and that makes it 64-49. So, Darren, we talk, we're going to keep it right here. We talk a lot about playing your best basketball at the end of the season. Now, we said earlier, Upper Side of Valley has lost three of four, but they could, they look like they've won three of four. Darren, they look really crisp and sharp tonight. Yeah, you know, I don't know what the practices have been like. I mean, obviously, when you get into the second half of the season, consider three parts to the season. You've got the beginning, then you've got the end, and you've got the first half until Christmas, January until tournament draw, and then the tournament. Again, you want to play your best basketball. Upper's getting that done. You can tell preparation-wise. Remember that word I used? Details. Yes, yes. For the most part tonight, they've been very detail-oriented. And we look at Allen East, Aaron. This is a good ball club. It now, look, Keaton club. Miller is out of the lineup. He's 14 a game. They've got shooters. They've got size. They just came up against a really hot ball club. Well, they're, they're gutsy. The effort yeah, they absolutely. give tonight, they played last night on the road. You know, this is game four since, what, Friday yep, night? You're right. Friday, Friday Saturday, Saturday, Monday, Saturday, Tuesday. Sunday. Yeah. You know, and I'm sure they probably had a walk through Sunday yes. or light practice. And then you have your league game last night, which obviously as a coach, you want to take care of business. Sanders nice little gets home back, run. Goes on the left side and he scores. Alex Sanders gets wide open. And he gets the touchdown pass from Maddox Underwood. Here's Jones on the right side, misses the three ball. And it's 66-49 with 152 to go. So Alex Sanders will walk to the free throw line. He's got 22 on the night to lead all scores. He'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken free throw line. Out of town or can't get WSN. WSN is now streaming our broadcast channel 24-7 online on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. A $100 allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. Wow. So Sanders with 24. Sanders with 24 as he knocks in both of them right there. Underwood 16. This is Klum, gets it back out to Young. Young dribble drives the free throw line. Shot goes up, and it dribbles in. Ethan Young knocks in the deuce. He's got seven on the night. The Rams will get the ball in, and Trey Hensley will foul Alex Sanders. I mean, that's a tough shot. It's a real tough shot. You know, not only did he have one hand contest, he's got two hands coming at him, and he still knocked out in. So Alex Sanders will go to the line to add to his total. He'll shoot two. 
Knocks in the first one. Boy. At 25 on the night, well, Darren. You know, more impressive. Daddy's got to be awful proud sitting to your left. <laughs> He's sitting. The kid's coming in shooting 48% from the charity strike. His dad's sitting right to my left, and yeah, he's got to be thrilled to He's filling yeah. those free throws in. <laughs> His dad's got a smile as big as, <laughs> as big as you, Gilly. He's got 26 on the night. And here's the thing, Gilly. He had, uh, he had seven. He had seven coming into the second half. Big night. Shot falls in for the Mustangs. They'll narrow it down 70-53 with 1.15 to go. And nothing drives a parent nuts, a father, or a coach nuts when you go and they call the free throw and you can't make free throws. They'll go inside to Underwood. Underwood just knocks it in. Underwood got behind the defense, and he had no choice but to knock that one in. Makes it 72-53. Maddox Underwood's got 18 on the night. Nice pass by Castle. Castle, miss, or Castle blocks the shot. They'll get it out to Stevens. Lehman steals it. Steve Lee takes it up. Keaton Lehman knocks it in. He's got 23 on the night. It's 72-55. Coach White calls a timeout, but he's just trying to get some subs in, looks like. So, yeah, you know, it, it's you look at Alex Sanders. He had seven coming into the second half. He's had 19 in the second half. And big boy points, Darren. He just took this game over, and he was the best player on the floor. He was the best player on the floor, but he, he also had a bunch of unselfish kids. You know, great... My opinion, great timeout, 46.7 seconds to go. Clean things up. Yes, we're going to win, but we have to start looking down the road sure. and fixing these mistakes. And that's what the coaching staff there is doing. You know, and Allen East, even though they're going to take one on the chin, they can still take some positives from this. Well, you look at Allen East. They came in averaging, giving up 53 a game. Upper side of Alley's put 72 on the board. Sure. And, uh, you know, missed a few shots here and there. It could have been worse. But, uh, as I said earlier, Upper Side of Alley played a near flawless game tonight. They did. So Upper Side of Alley will move to 15-6 and six on the season. Allen East will fall to 13-7. and seven. Upper Side of Alley has won. The, well, they, if they win Friday night, they will be the single champion of the Northwest Central Conference. Allen East will be three and four in the Northwest Conference. They got a Northwest Conference win last night against Lincoln View in a makeup game. Good job breaking that press. Entering the game now for Upper Side of Alley is number 15, Abraham Decker. Lehman with the breakout, gets the bucket. Keaton lehman has got 25 on the night. And they're gonna get a foul on Helton as he fouls. Yeah, I'm not so sure why that even took place. That was completely away from the basketball. Yeah, not real sure there. So Deacon Jones gets the ball up top, and he knocks it in. Deacon Jones with the triple. He's got six on the night. It's 72-60. Rams lead with 14 seconds to go. Stevens will bring it up the left side. He'll go to the middle. He'll kick it to Abraham Decker. Decker from the left side. Shot goes up. He misses the arc. Rebound comes down to Lehman. Lehman from three land on the right side. And he knocks it in. Keaton Lehman knocks in the triple. And that will do it. From Allen East High School, the upper side of Valley Rams defeat the Allen East Mustangs 72-63. Darren, it was all offense from upper side of Alley as they played a really, really good offensive game. They played a really, really good offensive game. I'm sure they're going to go back and they're going to look at the last four minutes of this game. You know, the score doesn't indicate, you know, it's, it's closer than what it was. You know, and that's a tribute to Allen East and the coaching staff for those guys just competing and battling like you said, nearly flawless, but there's some bits and pieces that both of these coaches and these players can take from this game and this tape as they proceed into the Friday night contest and into tournament play next week. And for Allen East, look, we've said it before, and I'm going to continue to say it. It's a good ball club. They're missing a key piece. They have a chance to make a deep tournament run. They do. They do. They get the rematch with Bluffton, obviously. You know, they did not have Miller that night, and they they lost 61-54 to 54 here at, at, at their home court, but we know what Bluffton brings to the table. They shoot it exceptionally well, and, you know, Coach runs multiple sets. And um, so that's, you know, they get the big, the big fella back. 
hopefully he plays, you know. God willing, he heals up and gets a chance to play. You know, Upper Soda Valley gets a chance to go undefeated in the conference play Friday night against Morrill Ridgedale. And then they get to heal up for about five or six days. And then they get to play the winner of Fort Recovery in New Knoxville. And let's let the chips fall where they may, partner, when it gets to tournament time. Absolutely. Everybody is zero and zero. <laughs> Best time of the year as we head towards the tournament trail towards Dayton. That'll wrap it up from Allen East High School as the Upper Side of Valley Rams come on the road and get a big road victory, 72-63 over the Allen East Mustangs. For Darren Gilbert, I'm Danny Holbrook, our entire WSN crew saying God bless and we'll see you down the tournament trail. <laughs>